Archer 82554, run up complete. We'd like our uh, squad code, please. Archer 82554, Roger number two for departure and uh, squawk. Uh, stand by for squawk. You can go ahead and pull on that direction. Cherokee A2554, standby, um, semi squawk. Stand by. Stand by, A2554. Five four squad zero six two seven and proceed up to the double dash number two for departure. Zero six two seven proceeding up to the double dash eight two five five four. Three five five four contact tower. Contact tower eight two five five four. First on tower, Archer 82554, holding short, runway 18. Runway 2554, direction on tower, fly left traffic, report midfield with request. Runway 18, curb take off. Left traffic will report midfield 82554. All right, let's grab your window. Do a normal takeoff this time. Yeah, let's do a normal takeoff, yeah. And on the power. Where's the volume control for mine? That's going to be this right here, so one is squelch, one is volume. Departure. Dot com 23, 23, contact Austin, departure. That's going to be like the volume for what you're talking, just oh, the general I, I volume. So there's that, let's try that out. That's going to be just for the frequency. Okay. What kind of uh, off do you want to make, or landing do you want to make? We'll do a short field. Just a touch and go.
First John Tower, Archer 554, left midfield, downwind for touch and go. 554, that's extremely weak, say again. Left midfield, downwind for touch and go. 554, you need to move the mic closer to your mouth, so I can hardly hear you. Runway 18, clear touch and go. Clear touch and go, runway 18, 554. Better. Talk to me a little bit. Test. 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 Yeah, that's fine with me. We'll try that. All right. Pumps check, gas full tank, turn the carriage down. Same speeds as this weekend. 4554, not receiving your mode C altitude. It's not on altitude. Who's out? Mode. And then altitude is right there. There we go. Enter. Roger, 554 five, reporting altitude. Those are our speeds that we always use. So 85 on base, 75 on final, and don't add that flap until your wing is level. But I didn't start turning quite yet. You were in the turn whenever you pulled it. All right, the runway is very well made, so we'll take that power out. And looks like uh, aiming for the thousand footers. What was your touchdown point for that one? For the, the short field? The touch was a thousand footers. Oh, it was? Okay, okay. So we slid past it, probably past 200 feet, because we get 200 feet, minus zero plus 200 right. on our touchdown point. Um, so just kind of keep that point in view a little more as you're coming down. We'll come around and try it again. Gas full is tank, under carriage down, fuel mixture, fuel pump and seat belt. Georgetown Tower, Archer 82554, left midfield downwind for touch and go. How am I reading? We're 554, five, heavy line clear now, runway 18, clear touch and go. Clear touch and go, runway 18, 8554. Five, Now, Tanner, number 3-1, 
969 is 10 miles to the north with Papa and Baffle stop. In November uh, 319 or 69er, George Centaur, what type of aircraft did you say you were? That's a uh, warrior. Number 969, George Town, Timbers 2993, Squawk 0614. 0614. And touch some point is the thousand, thousand footers again? Yeah. Okay. So you made the point on that one, that was good. Uh, but give yourself some more back pressure so we can touch down like a normal touchdown, you know, on the two mains and then setting yeah, that nose down afterwards. I was afterwards. Gonna miss the 200 though, that's why I kind of pushed it. Yeah, we, I mean, you still want to have a pretty normal landing though out of it. So on that one, we were a little bit high the whole time on final. Yeah, we were. Uh, just come in a little lower next time and we can get a normal landing in there. Yeah, I noticed we were high. And I had the power cut out a long time. I don't know if you yeah. noticed. But it's also something to keep in mind if you feel like you're not going to make the landing or it's just a really unstable approach, just to go around. Okay. You get that shot on the check ride. You actually have to be judged on the go around so you can call it whenever you want. Okay. Most examiners won't make you do it unless your landings have been perfect, then they'll ask for a random go around. Uh, but you can do it as long as you think you need it. Okay. Tower on River 31969, are we clear to land? 9969 runway uh, 18 clear to land, just getting ready to call it. No worries, 18 clear to land, 31969. Torch down tower, Archer 82554, left midfield downwind for touch and go. 8554, traffic uh, two mile following your number two to follow report traffic inside. Looking for traffic number two, eight five eight two five five four. Um, Dump check, gas full of tank, undercarriage. You'll make sure um, and seat belts. Okay. Traffic in sight, eight two five five four. 554 traffic heads, full stop, number two, clear touch and go, runway 18. Clear touch and go for number two, 82554. Okay, and just make sure we stay lined up with the runway. This highway is kind of misleading because if you line yourself up with the highway, you end up going yeah. further away from the runway. Right.
but even though you're having to extend a little bit to follow traffic, yeah. once you're being the numbers, continue to still pull your power back and add a flap, and just put yourself yeah. in slow flight, maintaining pattern altitude. Um, it kind of just slows you down and keeps you from having to come all the way out here. Okay. You get to slow down and kind of wait for that traffic to come to you. Once they're a beam, you can turn in and then make your base and final turns. All right. Turn left, taxiway, golf, coming around. Left on golf, over the ground. Be careful with that uh, rudder when you put it in during a turn like that. You don't want to put too much. Oh, I thought you wanted me to use more rudder on the turns. Uh, that was mostly on final that I wanted you to use more. Okay. Uh, not necessarily on those turns, oh, especially okay. like base to final because we're so low. All right. If you put too much in there, we could get really uncoordinated. Oh, and then okay. All right. The spin is the biggest nightmare. Yeah. These aren't rated for a spin. <laughs> Uh, just a little more back pressure there at the very okay. end. And then, like I said last time, you're a strong guy. You don't need both hands to land the plane. Just just one. Right. Yep. That's a habit. I got to break. Yeah. yeah. That's what all this is, you know. Repeat, repeat, repeat until it becomes habitual, and then, and then you're good. Yeah. And let's do a soft field on this next one. Okay. Let's kind of just master getting the main down first, the two mains, and then holding the back of that nose the whole time and gently letting it down. Okay. Bounce check. Gas still full of tank on your carriage. Mixture and fuel pump. First on tower, Archer 82554, left midfield downwind for touch and go. November 554, five, runway 18, clear touch and go. Clear touch and go, runway 18, 8554. One hand on the power.
Tower Station here, 66 on Mike Charlie, runway 29, requesting IFR release. Station uh, 661, Mike Charlie, George Chantar, hold short runway 29. -er. Holding short 29, -er, one Mike Charlie. Is good? Yeah, let's uh, come down. Yep. And go back. Yeah, you want some more back pressure though to get those mains down first because that was yeah, just barely there. Uh, but as soon as we touched down with the mains, the nose was probably half an inch off the ground, you know, so it, it automatically went down. So you want a little more and then keeping that nose off the whole time. I mean, that's what I'm feeling whenever yeah. we touch down, because it's almost a three-pointer, but I'm feeling the nose go down. Like, that one went down just right away, right after the main gear. But we can try it again. Yeah, still full of tank. We'll get it on the next go around. Okay. Station, uh, McCrashen, station here, 661, my try flying, got your release. Turn left, heading 240 after departure, runway 29 or clear for takeoff. Well, Mike Charlie, clear for takeoff, 29 or left, heading 240. Search on tower, Archer 82554, left midfield, downwind for touch and go. 554 turning head, citation six mile final, make a close approach, run or short approach, runway 18, clear touch and go. Clear touch and go, short approach, 82554. Search on tower, colors 9953, nine Bravo holding short, one runway 18. 9953, Bravo door center, hold short, runway 18. Holding short, runway 18, 93, Bravo. Wind check. 0903. J203 November Mike, would you happen to be on my frequency? Georgetown Tower Citation, November 203 November Mike, uh, inbound from the North Jordan Airport inside. J203 November Mike, Georgetown Tower, start slowing to approach speed following Cherokee left base a mile, left base a mile uh, north of the airport. Number two, runway 18 Kerlin. Okay, slowing uh, and looking for the traffic cleared for the uh, uh, clear to land 18, uh, 3 mic. Georgetown Tower, air coup 5606 Fox Trot inbound full stop with Papa. In November 1, Mike Charlie, contact off departure 119.0. Well, Mike Charlie. Cube zero five six zero six Fox Trot George Center. You can plan on and entering the smallest a, uh, amount right of down pressure right at the last second. Zero six one zero. Zero six one zero and report right midfield entry uh, zero six Fox Trot. Thank you. There you go. And then that nose comes down. So it's a little bit more than you would expect to be pulling back. Yeah, definitely yeah, it feels to keep a that. Weird. Yeah, to keep that nose up. Oh, plane take off on 2-9. See that when we were coming in? Yep. Uh, 
four three to remember my proof report charge over departure and for left close traffic, no factor. And we'll do a touch and go on this one, and then departure to the east okay. after that. Okay. Remember, Mike left when able kind of ground action runway. Yes, now switched. We're going to the entry. Airs down. No problem. George South Tower, helicopter 142, Victor Alpha on east ramp. Quest take off into the wind with east departure. Push 9593, Bravo, citations, exit runway at the end. Proceed on course, runway 18, clear for takeoff. Proceed on course, runway 18, clear for takeoff. 93, Bravo. November one two one November one four two Victor Alpha East departure for departure from that ramp you're on rest not moving area. Cess is taking runway one eight for departure will be a left turn out toward the east and uh, remain at our ball one thousand three hundred until clear of class delta. short field on this one. Okay. And so now we kind of have that feel for how much extra feeling of back pressure we have to put in there just to really get those two mains down. Okay. So let's kind of head toward that. Yeah, I guess the reason I don't pull back that hard anymore is I tend, I was, you know, floating it back when I first started when I pulled up. Yeah. But at this point, I'm sure you have a lot better control of your airspeed, so you're yeah. not going to float it if you aren't going too fast. Right. Foxtrot is a uh, right downwind one eight. Two zero six Foxtrot runway one eight clear to land. One eight clear to land, sir. Good spot. Thank you. 
Georgetown Tower, Warrior 4308 Kilo, holding short 18. 4308 Kilo, air coop traffic is uh, midfield right now, and for landing, proceed on course, runway 18, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff. Alright, so let's head out to the east. Um, I say zero seven zero up to three thousand. Three thousand for now until we get higher, so I can just see the bases of these clouds. Yeah. Probably not that high though. Yeah, I saw something down there. Yeah, I think that was the helicopter. Yeah. Church on Tower, November 384, Charlie Papa is at 2,000 feet to 10.5 miles to the east. It's information Papa, inbound full stop. 2384, Charlie Papa, George Santana, George Santana, altimeter. 2992, squawk 0626. 2992, 0626 for 384, Charlie Papa. Hand me my water back there. 2-4-7, pop in, left base, landing runway 18. Set some traffic 5 east, east, bound 2,400. Uh, Charlie Papa, looking for traffic, I want to turn left base for 18. Charlie Papa. 2 0 6 Fox, I need to turn left, taxiway, Julia, kind of ground. Yeah, it's level off left here. Julia, over to ground. 0 6 Fox, thank you. Yeah, 2,500 is good. 2 5, five four, traffic is a Cirrus. Seven and a half miles east northeast inbound, two thousand feet for left base. Looking for traffic, eight two five five four. Works up off the test of traffic is ten over to nine o'clock, two miles. Two miles on the trail of Cherokee also eastbound, two thousand six hundred. Let's turn right twenty degrees. Try pop looking. Georgetown Tower, helicopter one four two, Victor Alpha, clear to the airspace southeast. Okay, let's, we'll maintain. Maintain 2,500. 3 inbound service traffic is uh, 10 moving to uh, 11 moving to 10 o'clock and 2 miles, 1,800. Looking for traffic, 82554. Didn't understand anything you said, 554. Looking for traffic, 82554. My comp still messed up? It shouldn't be. Sounds all right to me. 554, your traffic's 10 o'clock, 2 miles, moving to 9 o'clock, 1,800. Won't be a factor for you. Roger, 82554. 54, squawk 1200, frequency change approved. Frequency change approved, 82554. 308 kilo inbound service traffic is 11 o'clock, 3 miles, 1,800. 11 o'clock, looking for traffic, 308 kilo. All right, so back to 070, okay. 2,500. There's four time pop of Cherokee traffic, eastbound 2,300, 11 moving to 10 o'clock at uh, 2 miles. Try pop of Looking good, looking good. All right, let's do a little bit of slow flight. So you'll show me how you set up and get into slow flight. Okay. I'm gonna do a clearing. Well, first I'm gonna do a gumps check. Um, gas is still full of tank, undercarriage, fuel mixture, and fuel pumper on. We were in cruise, which kind of were. The fuel pump would have been off, I guess. 
Um, so we'll go ahead and do a clear. Okay. Turn. Traffic, helicopter one four two. Okay. Six miles northwest of the airport. Right. First. At one thousand three hundred, descending down to traffic pattern altitude at eleven one thousand one hundred. We'll be entering the right extended downwind for runway one seven. I'm going to clear to the left. All right. Taylor, traffic archer 554 maneuvering west of Lake Granger 2500. Taylor. Go ahead and get into slow flight. Taylor traffic, call this 9 5 9 3 Bravo, about 3 nautical miles north of the field, inbound for traffic pattern work. Where is Taylor? Taylor is oh. behind the, I guess, off the wing over here. Oh, okay. And also, whenever you do clearing turns, you can check out the map for um, some traffic and situational awareness. That's, you know, why a good reason why we have traffic on it is so you can see. So, okay. you know, before you go into that turn, just take a look out here. You'll All see right. the small uh, little icons. Okay. Not Notch. All right, 2,500-070 on the heading. Okay. And what speed do we go for? 60. 60, yes. Final, going to fly over the field. Looks good so far. Give me a turn to one two zero. Lockhart traffic six eight nine one hotel on the upwind one eight departing the area uh, to the east and then uh, north. Lockhart traffic. Okay, the traffic helicopter one four two Victor Alpha to Black R twenty two. We are just about uh, two and a half miles to the west northwest. Going to be entering an extended right base for runway one seven. Taylor traffic. And our airspeed limitation is going to be minus zero Locker plus ten. So that's what we get to play with there. Altitude plus or minus one hundred feet on both sides, okay. and heading is plus or minus ten degrees. So ten degrees on either side. Turning crosswind, big crosswind. Runway one seven, Taylor. All right, climbing up to two thousand seven hundred. Slow flight? Yep. All in slow flight. The power for altitude, pitch for airspeed. Taylor, traffic, Niner, 5, Niner, 3, Bravo, turning right downwind, runway 17, touch and go, Taylor. Traffic helicopter, 405 Romeo Lima, left downwind, going to be landing uh, taxiway parallel 18. Lock our traffic. Okay. Good, good, good. All right, give me a left turn to 030. Lockhart traffic, helicopter 405 
five Romeo Lima, turn left face final, uh, going to be landing taxiway parallel, runway one eight. Lockhart. Taylor traffic, call this standard five nine three Bravo turning base runway one seven. Taylor. There we go, nice. So just a really gentle bank and slow flight. No more than 10 degrees on the bank, so that looks good. Looks good, looks good. Let's go ahead and recover from this maneuver. Taylor, traffic. Call it 9593, Bravo, turning final, runway 17, touch and go. Taylor. Taylor, traffic, helicopter 1426, your is on the go, runway 17 for right traffic. Taylor. Full party traffic, sure, 328, Delta Kilo, forward to the north. Uh, and down for landing one six. We'll cross uh, above active uh, at midfield and our right traffic full stop one six full verdi. Good, good, good. Let's do uh, Steve Turns next. So you can find a point on the out in the distance or use a heading that you would like to roll out to. Okay. Um I'm going to do a clearing turn first. Okay. I'm going to do a uh, 180. I'm going to use this lake as my reference point. Okay. Then let's just make sure we stay at 2,500 on those, this base of clouds. Traffic helicopter one four two Victor Alpha and right downwind for runway one seven Taylor. All right, really big clearing turn. That's good. So this is our heading, 150, 2500. Yep. And keep going with it, you're good. Taylor traffic, helicopter 142, Victor Alpha, turning final, runway 17. Simulated engine out, auto rotation to the south of the monitor, Taylor. Just a bit steeper. There we go, 45 is that really small notch right there in between the two bigger ones. Oh, it is? Yep. Oh, I thought it was between those two. Are you going to go to the right at all, or just the left? Yeah, I was trying to perfect this. Okay. Um, I noticed we were getting way above maneuvering speed, that's why I slowed us down. But I'll go ahead and turn to the right now. Okay. 
Yeah, you added a power. Your first left turn was good. You added a lot of power, though. Uh, yeah, we don't necessarily need that right? much. Yeah. yeah, that increased our our speed quite a bit. Yeah, that was definitely too much power. Good notice on the maneuvering speed, though. Yeah, I don't want to rip our plane apart. <laughs> Please, no. And do you know the sight picture you're looking for in your right turn? Yeah, right above my... The horizon right above my cowling. Yep, exactly. So the cowling just right there on that left turn. It's the spinner, the nose, on the horizon the whole time. you get back to 1.5, I'll pull us out of it. Okay. Altitude looks good. Once you see your VSI is trending, you know, go ahead and make your corrections there so we don't lose a whole lot of altitude and have to do these really big oscillation corrections. There you go. All right. Let's, uh, let's do it again, but just one turn to the left, one turn to the right. Okay. And then we should be good. Taylor traffic, helicopter 142, Victor Allison, right downwind for runway 17, Taylor. Bring your power back just a bit. Yeah, you just want to add 100 RPM in there, nothing okay. too crazy. So this is good right here. Okay. All right, smooth transition, pushing down, going into the right turn. Make sure you push down a little bit, or we're going to balloon where we get that really high vertical speed. So let's just left, push down, go into the right. Okay, the traffic, Archer 554 maneuvering west of Lake Ranger, 2 miles, 2,500, Taylor. Taylor, traffic 26 Mike is 3 miles to the west, we'll be inbound for right now, way 17, Taylor. There you go, that was good. Thanks. That was really good. Just in that transition, that's the only critique I have on that is... Yeah. Going left to right, push down, because uh, you have all the added lift in there. You have the trim, you have the power. Yeah, um, just push great. down as you're transitioning into the other turn. Yeah, I was pushing, but probably not enough. Yeah. And I noticed whenever you're adding that power, it seems to be more of a uh, a physical movement for you, if that makes sense. You're just you're not actually like looking at the RPMs. I don't think you are. You're just kind of pushing it in there and then going. Yeah. Um, oh, you know, just, okay. yeah. just like a nice look at it. Okay, there's 100 RPM. Now I'm going to start. I'm just ease into these things really slowly. Okay. I could feel you jerking the, the trim whenever you're putting in. Just do that really nice and gently too. Okay. Um, that's just small little critiques. But okay. the whole maneuver looks good. Um, so the last thing we'll do is this engine out. All right. The wind is coming from, and I got it, 120. Okay. And what's the first yeah, thing first we do, thing though? I'm going to aviate. There you go. But I'm gonna I go know Jarrett taught that pretty well. Start nav, uh, I'm going to go ahead and aviate, navigate. Okay. Get this to 76. Out, you mean? Pull out? Yeah, you keep it all the way out. And one two zero is not looking good. Okay. Because we're gonna end up in the lake. All right. So what's your so, next best decision? Well, I can circle around and hit this field here. Okay, but we also have all that out there too. Yeah. I don't think any of that is hazardous. 
Okay. Yep. So now I'm going to uh, start checking things from left to right. And what, what airspeed are you looking for? I'm looking for 76. Okay. Yeah. Keep it at 76. I'm going to start checking things, trying to get the thing started. I can. And uh, if I can't, then I'm uh, going to start uh, going to communicate. Squawk 770. And I'm going to mayday, mayday, mayday. Uh, what frequency? Seven five zero. Seven seven zero zero. That's your that's your squawk. But what's your frequency? I mean that's. Oh, I'll call uh, Georgetown Tower. Okay. And what's the emergency frequency though? Oh, one two one point five. There you go. All right. And then uh, call you when I'm on the ground. I'm gonna go ahead and land in this field up here. Okay. Like we'll easily make it over the road there. Perfect. And now I'm going to start shutting everything down. I'm going to open that door there. Okay. Uh, hold off on flaps just yet. All right. So we get down. We realize this field is full of cows. Now where are you going? I'm going to have to land there, right? Where I can turn to the left. Yep. Look at that. Clear. Totally clear over there. Okay. That won't be with the wind, but... Oh, well. All right, let's go around. Yeah, so that's, that's my biggest thing is whenever we start doing these is show me your alternate. Um, so I don't have to do that to you. Put you in a bad scenario where you get so low. Say, okay, I'm landing here, and uh, to the left and right I'm open. Or, okay, to the left I'm only open. I have nothing on the right. Right. Um, show me that you're really using these ADM skills, aeronautical okay. decision making. I really want right. to see a lot of sharpness on that. Okay, yeah. Makes sense. Save your life. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Um, that's all I can think of for now. We've done a lot. So let's head back to Georgetown. All right. If cool. you're fine with that. Yeah. I, I think your maneuvers look pretty good. Georgetown up there. There you go. Over that nose, let's look for traffic, skydivers, I doubt it, but who knows. Okay, and then how do you direct to it? Just activate it. Activate. Okay. There you go. Taylor, traffic helicopter 142 Victor Alpha is on the go, runway 17 for right traffic. Taylor. Yeah, there shouldn't be skydivers today, but are we in their area? Uh, where are we? They're a little north of us, right? Yeah, they're like over there off the wing. Yeah. You and I have actually come close to it. I don't think I, I don't think I told you, but whenever you were under the hood once, I looked up and there was one right in front of us. Uh, I don't really? think you ever felt it. I didn't say anything, but I was like, ooh. Sorry. <laughs> Skydiver? Yeah, wow. I wasn't paying attention because we were up, this is Holland right here, we were kind of yeah. north of that, and that's Salado, that's where they jump. Oh, well, that's a problem. Yeah. But now I know. I was Looking watching an uh, air disaster show, and one of those was a skydiver. Ooh. With the plane. Ooh. Talk about a tangled mess. Well, the skydiver lived. No one on the plane did. Oh, wow. Broke his ankle. Skydiver, he was lucky. All right, let's stay ahead of the airplane and get ready for Georgetown. Okay. Be of our grab, advise on initial contact, direction of departure. Advise, yeah, made us Quebec. Georgetown, all right, it's Mission Quebec. Time, 2053, zero, zero, zero weather, wind 160 at 6, visibility 10 zero miles. Sky condition, few clouds, 2,800, ceiling, 3,900 overcast. Temperature, 2 tree, 2.18, altimeter 2991.
Visual approach, runway 18 in use, bird advisories are in effect. VFR craft, advise on initial contact, direction of departure. Advise, you have us. Quebec. All right, uh, one more thing, my controls. Your controls. Do some unusual attitudes. Uh, what's the saying that we say for unusual attitudes? I don't know the, the saying, phrase, but I know what I'm supposed to do. Okay, okay. So, if you will, we're going to get away from these clouds. Um, but eyes closed, put your head down. And I'm just going to mess you up a little bit here. All right, go ahead and recover for me. Good. Awesome. Let's do one more. Okay. Eyes closed, head down. All right, recover. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, take us back. Okay. So my saying is in the blue, power through. Okay. Nose down, wings level. Right. Then in the brown, power down, wings level, and then nose up. Okay. It's really important that we get the wings level and that nose down attitude because if we don't, we're going to be pulling so many G's on our unlevel wings, and then we're definitely going to have some kind of structural damage at that point. Taylor, traffic, colors 9 or 5, 9 or 3, Bravo turning right downwind, runway 17, touch and go. Taylor. You can climb back up to 25. Okay. We're at an hour, can I go ahead and switch tanks? Uh, sure, if you feel like you're in a good position too. You are. I didn't like that right tank anyway. <laughs> don't want it running dry on us. I mean, I don't know if it would have, but... It can run dry visually, and you still have about, uh, I want to think it's eight gallons, because uh, they slope down, the tanks do. So, no matter what, you're, you're good for the most part. Good, setting those frequencies up, that's what I like to see. Torch on tower, Archer 82554, 10 miles to the east, inbound for full stop. Alpha Bravo, contact Austin departure 119.0. Eddie Alpha Bravo, goodbye. 382554, George Santana, Timber 29901, Squawk 0623. Squawk 0623, 29901, 82554. Alright, so if your engine goes out here, where are you going? Fields behind us. That's okay. where the wind's coming from. Okay. There's some good fields back there.
Yeah, we're too far to make it to the airport. But what else is out here? Humane. There's roads. Yeah, there were three, one, nine, six, roads, one, but also power lines. Bad. What is good? What what is good that's out here? What is good? Yep, the farms. Fields. Yeah, farms, fields. Uh, something that's made for airplanes. Well, there's an airport. Where? Baylor. How do you do the range on this one? I believe it is the small knob. No, oh, but Taylor's too far away. That's like 10 miles. Yeah. We can never glide that. Yep. What else is out here? I don't think you're going to see it on this. So this is where I would say you should have a sectional with you uh, whenever you fly. A map or yeah, like got, on the iPad. Um, we have private grass strips out here. Those are made for airplanes. And whenever you have an emergency, anything is for you, you know. Can you point one out? Because I've never seen them. <laughs> so there's an RC airport. Uh, God, where is that thing? It is very, very small. Oh, it's going to... It's already there. You're good. Just right, so press good altitude right, again. Center, depart in Cherokee, flying left, close Enter. traffic after departure, turn right heading 240, go. maintain 3000. One way, one way, clear for takeoff. All right, one way, one way, clear for takeoff. Uh, Enterprise heading 240, and climb to 3000, 31969. Yeah, I've just never seen them. Like Five long. four, you can plan on entering a uh, left base landing uh, runway. Uh, let's say change that. Enter midfield left downwind landing runway one eight. Midfield left downwind for runway one eight eight two five five four. It's right here. It's really really small. Eight zero one Alpha Papa. Midfield left downwind one eight. Requesting touch and go. Three zero eight kilo starts crosswind. Starting crosswind, zero eight kilo. Is that a midfield left base? Please touch and go one eight. eight midfield left base. downwind. Oh, midfield. He said base, and then he said correction. Midfield left downwind. Anyway, do you see this uh, black asphalt surface right here? A little red building, gravel road. Oh yeah. Okay, so that's okay. what that is. There's a grass strip that we are running parallel with right now. Uh, there's a little bit of a big pond. It's going to okay. be to the right of that pond. Okay. Um, and that's, this is where examiners pull your engine, right here. So you either take them Do to the grass strip. Blues, Cherokee traffic, uh, left, turning left down one a mile southeast of the airport, approaching uh, midfield. 11, moving to 12 o'clock, three and a half miles, report that traffic in sight. You'll be following them in the pattern. That was, uh, yeah, it was. It was. I'll give it traffic, 554. Five, it's a cue. If I stop talking, that means they're talking to us. That probably set up for a little bit of a better 45 degree entry. Look right above the horizon. Now below the horizon slightly. Georgetown Tower, Warrior, 4308 Kilo. Hardly 1 o'clock. Uh, requesting. Touch oh, yeah. and go. 308 Kilo, runway 18, number 2 behind Cherokee, left base, final clear, touch and go. Number 2, clear, touch and go, thank you. Number 554, your traffic is 12, moving to 1 o'clock and a mile and a quarter. Traffic in sight, 82554. 4, number 3, runway 18, clear lane. Clear to land, number 3, 82554. It's off in departure, 119.0. Over departure, see it. And once you've established communication with the frequency, you don't have to say your full call sign anymore. You can just yeah, say the last three. Make it a bit easier on the airways. Airplane. Yeah. Coming out at a weird angle. Go ahead and do a full bank. Off the wing. Uh, yeah, if, as long as you think the plane you're following has enough distance, then... Sure. Just make sure we stay at pattern altitude. You know, I'm a really big stickler on that.
And show me a soft field landing on this one. Okay. They're really pulling that nose back the whole time and keeping it there. What I'm looking for is that you have pretty much that full nose up, pulling back, and you're keeping it there until you get off the runway. You know, keep that nose out of the dirt as long as you can. Yeah, if you ever overshoot like this, um, no need to put any rudder in there or extra bank. Just slowly make your way back to the course. Okay. Right. That's how spins happen, is people just overcorrect way too much with right. one or the other or both, which is really bad. So you never want to put yourself in that situation. Tower 801 Alpha Papa, left downwind 18, uh, requesting touch and go. There you go, keep holding it back, hold it back. 801 Alpha Papa, runway 18, clear touch and go. Clear touch and go, 18, 801 Alpha Papa. 3554, turn left, taxiway Julia, if unable, Julia, turn left on runway 11, County Run. Turn left on runway 11, contacting ground. 8554. <laughs> I keep seeing. Sorry. Oh, you're good. And I did get, get clarification. As soon as we get onto the new runway, they want us to contact them. Not whenever we get off of 1-1. One, one. Okay. Yeah. We'll continue. Once we get off this, then we'll do our checklist. But All go right. ahead and talk to them. Short on ground, Archer 82554 on runway 1-1. One, one. I'd like to go back to pilot's choice. Archer 82554, ground taxi pilot's choice. Via Lima Foxtrot, terminal ramp Alpha 1. Lima Foxtrot Terminal Ramp Alpha One to Pilot's Choice Eight Two Five Five Four. Where did you want to go? Fill up the tanks. We'll fill up the tanks, but I'll tell them once we're on the terminal ramp. I can correct it. That's fine. Georgia Ground Four Eight Eight Tango is run up complete. There we go. Off the runway. Tango, Romeo, 18, Alpha. Via Alpha for Romeo, 184, 188, Tango. Alpha 